Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit today about getting butt hurt over women when they leave. This is something that I think all of us as men we've we've dealt with at some point in time where where you certainly you might get really down when a woman cho- chooses to walk out of your life and chooses to leave you and there's this there's this thing psychologically that can happen inside of you where like yes there's a part of you that I'm sure is sad and you're you're going to miss this person but then there's this back end of that sort of emotion where you you get this what I call like quote unquote being butt hurt where you start to you actually develop a little bit of animosity and hate and and uh, all these sorts of things towards this person because they left you okay those are normal natural things i think we all deal with those thoughts and emotions and i'm not saying that you're a bad person if you've if you thought on those terms before but I just want you to guys to think a little bit beyond that, okay? After you get past the the initial shock and the initial hurt of a situation that might dissolve right in front of your eyes before you're ready for it to, to dissolve or whatever the, the case might be, whatever the situation is, at the end of the day, strong, powerful, confident, secure people in general, both men and women, they don't get butt hurt in these situations. And, and this is a learned thing. As you go through life and as you go through more of these situations, you're gonna learn to develop this approach, I think, more readily. You're gonna get better at it. But what I mean here, there's a, there's a couple other like really strong additional pieces about why you shouldn't get butt hurt because anybody that lives their life in the mindset of abundance, right? So let's just talk once again from the male's perspective, like everything I talk here, because that's it's obvious. A, a man that thinks on this sorts of term, right? The abundance mindset. There is billions of women out there. I can always, for the rest of my life, go out there and find another one, find a better one. One up the last one that came through my life, whatever it is. Somebody that thinks on those terms is not gonna waste any time in their, their brain space worrying about the past and worry about this person that left them and getting, like I said, butt hurt and hating this person or having animosities towards them, whatever, because like they're, they're more focused on the, the rest of the world out there ahead of them forward in their field of view. They're not looking in the rear view mirror. They're not hanging up on this situation from the past. And yeah, that might've sucked that things went the way they did. But like I said, it's almost like they're in a way, they're ironically excited that it's like, hey, I get to get back out there in the world and go meet some new people and go have some new experiences. And, and like I said, most likely find somebody who is better than the last one kind of thing. When you have that sort of abundance mindset, you think on those terms. And you're like, well, I'm not mad at this other person for leaving. It didn't work out. That was their prerogative. Like, whatever, it was their loss. And and you're gonna you're gonna move on from those situations. And you know, it, it just takes having that mindset shift. It takes having that that different sort of approach to these life situations when they go down the way they they do. But I, and I'm always connecting this to to um, like I, I try to get you guys to to stop totally looking on the internet and look around you in your in your physical tangible lives about the the men that are around you that you really respect and you admire their styles and, and you appreciate them as humans you know their quality solid people of integrity and all this kind of stuff and i just i want you to to analyze their actions and look at how they act when they they come out of their relationships i mean do they get so butthurt and bitter and they their lives are miserable and they they string the past along into their present and they they continue to go through all this pain or are these the folks that just like, they, they almost like have this effortless nonchalant ability to just let it go, move on from it, keep moving forward, look out there at the great new world ahead of you and keep trucking through life. I, I, would, I would imagine that, that most of these folks that, that you do admire act in this sort of way and they don't get butt hurt when girls leave, okay? Women, you know, they're human beings too. They're going through their stuff. Like I said a moment ago, it, it, you know, things don't work out sometimes, guys, but you can't hate on another human being for not wanting to be around you anymore. You can't control those things. It's, it's completely outside the realm of, of uh, things that you can control in your life. And you need to focus on what you can control versus what you cannot. And, and this women piece is such a big, a big instance of that, that we're all gonna deal with in our lives. We're all gonna go through that sorts of things, but you know, like I said, the, the message of the of the uh, the talk here today, the whole point is just that that real strong, self assured, confident people of integrity, high caliber men in this world, they don't get butt hurt over women. Okay, they move on, they pick themselves up, they know what they got inside, 
they consider it a loss for the other person. You're, you might actually feel bad that this person walked out of your life and a lot of times it's probably gonna try to re-enter your life down the road, but that's only if you are this sort of man that I described a moment ago. You are the quality guy, okay? But you don't get butthurt over this stuff. You keep on moving. You look at the wonderful, abundant world ahead of you and you go back out there and you go have some fun and you keep moving, okay? All right, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you real soon.